Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebble Host. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use lightweight chests on your Minecraft server. So in this video, I'll show you how to install it and also how to use it, as well as some demonstrations at the end as well. So let's just get right into it. So first of all, as lightweight chest is a plugin, we need to make sure we are using a version which does support plugins. So on your service panel, go down to the jar and pre-install menu, and then make sure you are running a version which does support plugins. The most popular of these are paper, spigot, and craft bucket. I personally use paper as it is more optimized. Once you've selected your version, go ahead and restart your server. Then go down to the first link in the description, and this will take you to LWC Extended. So once you're here, we're simply going to click download now. So once you've downloaded the plugin, if you then scroll down and then go to this add-ons and then click the spoiler, there's also a few little add-ons as well. They're not official, but they will work. Now economy means you can set a price to lock a chest. So if your server has an economy, you could make it so that someone has to pay, for example, $500 for them to be able to lock the chest. For keys, this means that you can give people keys so that they can open your chests. However, it's kind of pointless as you do have trust here, which means you can then trust people so that they can open your chests. So in this video, I'm only going to be showing the trust one. So if you want to get LWC Trust, then go ahead and download that as well. So now I'll go back to Pebblehost. Once we're here, on the left, you're going to go to the File Manager, and then you're going to find the Plugins folder. In here, you're then going to click Upload, and then File. And then we're going to go ahead and upload both our files. Of course, if you didn't get the Trust add-on, then you don't need to add LWC Trust. Once they're uploaded, go ahead and restart your server. And then you can join the game. Alright, so I've now joined the server. And if we go to place a chest, you can see in the chat, created a private chest successfully. This will also work for things like furnaces. So I'm going to place a furnace, a blast furnace, a dropper, a dispenser, and also a barrel. And in chat, they have all shown up as well. Now I've got my all in here just to show you that these actually can't be opened. So one thing, first of all, is if the player is an op, whether you trust them or not, they will be able to open these. So I've just unopped my alt, and now if I go to open these chests with it, you can see in the chat, this chest is locked with a magical spell. And then it's going to say this for all of these as well. They also can't break them either. If we try to break them, you can see it's locked by a magical spell. And this of course works for things like TNT as well. As you can see, the TNT didn't even go off near them. But if we go to place it over here, as you can see, the TNT will go off. But the TNT just won't explode if it is nearby one of these. But as I'm the owner, of course, I can go into these and break them if I'd like. And in chat, you can see, when I open the dropper and the furnace, it says that it's locked by me. And when I broke the furnace and the dropper, it has also unregistered them as well. So let's say we wanted to trust them now, and we wanted to let just this single player open my chests and containers. Very simply, we're going to do slash trust, and then add, and then of course their name. And then it's going to ask us to confirm the trust. So once again, do trust and then confirm. And now we have registered trust for the player Alt4F. And in the Alt chat, we are now trusted to Strange Stance Protections. And now we can actually go into these. However, we still won't be able to break them. And if I fill this barrel with diamonds, and then go onto the Alt account, I can take the stuff out as well. And then if you want to remove the trust from a player, it's just as simple. You're going to do slash trust, and then remove, and then the player's name. And there we go. We have now removed trust from the player Alt4F. And you may have seen it in that list of options. If we do slash trust, there's also a list. And as the name suggests, this will show a list of the people that are trusted. So currently, I trust no one. However, if I trust Alt4F again, and then I do trust list, as you can see, I trust Alt4F. Now, this plugin is also very configurable. So now I'm going to show you different flags you can use. So as I showed earlier, these currently can't be exploded. However, if I do the command slash LWC, and then a colon, another C, and then allow explosions. We're then going to put on, and now it's going to ask us to right click the container. So let's say we wanted to allow the barrel to be exploded. We'll then right click it, and it says it is turned on the flag allow explosions for the protection successfully. So now if we go to blow this up, and as you can see, the TNT exploded the barrel, but not the dispenser. And that's because the dispenser doesn't have allow explosions. And of course, there's loads of other flags you can use as well. If we do LWC and then colon C, there is loads of stuff you can do. So we're going to try out this password one. Instead of putting on for this, you're going to put the password you want to use. So let's say I wanted to use Pebble Host, we'll then press enter, and then we have to left click our block. We're then going to left click on this dispenser, and as you can see, it has created the protection successfully. However, one thing I didn't show is that I did have to unlock this first, as it was already registered. So if we go to do it on this furnace, if we put the same password, it will say you've already registered that furnace. So if we do slash unlock, we can then punch the furnace, 
and let's remove the lock. And now we can put the password on it. And now if I go to open it on my alt, which I've untrusted, you can see it says, this furnace is locked. Type C unlock, password to unlock it. So if we do C unlock, and then the password, which was pebble host, password has been accepted. Meaning we can now open this. And we'll be able to open this until we leave the game. So if we leave and join back, so we've joined back, and now if we go to open it, it's going to ask us for the password again. So as I said, you can make this plugin exactly what you want it to be. Anyway, hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you next time.